So about the bullseye, there's many questions I've seen in flights and people asking in comments about what is bullseye. So this video, I'm going to go over that exact fact, I'm going to go over what is bullseye, the symbology of bullseye, the importance of bullseye, and how to use it tactically inside of 3D in BMS, and it'll also work in DCS as well. It's all specifically for the Viper, so the F-16. So first of all, what is bullseye? It is a military radio communication predefined point in space that is used to accurately pinpoint different locations. So there's two numbers. The first number is the is the the magnetic bearing and the second is the range. So with those two numbers you're able to pinpoint a exact location on a map. So for example, let's say AWAX calls bullseye 22530 means that it's 30 nautical miles on the on the magnetic bearing of 225 from the bullseye location. So here is a compass rose and the important the importance of having this embedded and uh, memorized in your head is uh, very is paramount to having the mental picture inside of BMS inside of your cockpit. So with the bearing of 225 30 miles, so 225, so you have to visualize where that is. So usually what I do is uh, you have to you should memorize at least north west east and south so north is 360 east is 90 south is 180 and west is 270 so if, if when you memorize those you can kind of at least get the quadrant the first number is when it comes when it comes to the the heading so we had 225 so automatically you go 180 and 270 so it's in between that and you can kind of C270, 225, so it's kind of like in the middle. So minus 500, or or not 500, 50 from it, and you get 225, is roughly. So that's ish in the middle of south and west. So it's southwest. And then off of that, you go by 30 miles. So in your, in 2D, you should have already done a, a, a mental picture check. So you can just know where it is. So 225, 30 miles. So let's just say this is not to scale. Let's say this is 60 miles right here. So 225, so exactly, will be right here and then in the middle. So 225, 30. That would be where it is. If, for example, it was 360 or 60, it would be north because 360 and it would be at the, the rat ring right here. So 170, 30 miles. So 170, you know, 180, and you do minus 10, it's 170, and then you just put the miles in, and you're, and you're good. So this is a good thing to have, at least to get used to and memorize the compass rows, because you'll need it in 3D. So I explained getting the mental picture in your head before you get into 3D. The importance of that is to know at least a generalization of where distances and headings are. So to do that, you're, you're in, your, in your 2D, you right click, go to ruler, put one of the rulers on the bullseye, which is gre this green, green uh, star here is bullseye, so you put one of them on the bullseye, and the other one you can move around. So that middle number, the 34.4, that's the distance, and then the number over here where your cursor is, is is the bearing. So right here, the bullseye is 48, th 36. So 48, 36. That would be the bullseye. So bullseye 48, 36. Uh, it's it's. So th that would be the bullseye for that. Let's say if the bullseye is over. Let's say if it's over here. So this bullseye call is uh, 70, 100. So this will be the bullseye call for this location right here. And this is how you use the ruler. So this will be 30, uh, 3064. That would be the 03064. That would be the bullseye for that. Fine, depending on what your area responsibility is. So here I have four, four sweeps going all just about all the way across the, the border here. So there's four sweeps. So depending on which sweep you are, would depend on what mental picture you get. But always, if you're in here, you would just go all the way to the end, and you would see that the coast on the east side is 116 miles. So 
Just remember, one one sixteen is all the way on the coast, and at, with a heading of zero seven one. So that's a good thing to remember. You can go to the middle, zero seven one ish or so, and the middle is six four miles, sixty four miles. So in the middle, that would kind of be where your area of responsibility is. So if you hear something with six sixty four miles, then you should pay attention uh, of of its location. Especially if it's 07164, that is in your area of, of responsibility, and you should go after it. So you just kind of get a generalization and mental picture of where the bullseye is just by listening to it for a quick second. For the most part, we won't be using this entire half of the bullseye, so you won't be hearing any of these for the most part, depending on where your bullseye is. So if you hear something like 08069, you would kind of kind of know-ish where that is because in the in between was about 60 miles, so you can kind of estimate where it is. If you're in this lane right here and you hear 09010, you automatically know that's way back here. So it's really close to the bullseye and it's not really a threat. And while you are in 3D, it is a good idea to prioritize and categorize your bullseye calls because AWACS will probably be saying more than one. So the first bullseye call, let's say it is, picture is three groups. First group, 030, so you, you on your H, you would do it in your head, kind of 030 in the middle of there, and 50 miles. So it's 030, 50 miles right here. So you would kind of visualize in your head of where that is. And being that it's so far away, you wouldn't you wouldn't pay attention to it. The next the the second group would be let's say it is zero five zero one hundred. So let's just say that. So zero five zero one hundred. So there's a group over here zero five zero one hundred. That is not too much of a threat, but it is north south down your lane. So that could be a, a, a secondary priority. So this is one you would probably start trying to look for. But do you hear a, another threat that is 06095? Let's go to 060 right here and 95. So that's a little bit closer. I actually want it to be here. So let's just say it's 07089 or is it 07090. This is right in where you need to be. So you would have to re remember this one and try to look for it on your <clears throat> on your on your FCR. So you, you would be looking for it all on your FCR while you're getting the bullseye calls. And if it's a bullseye call that's way over here, 03053, then that's not even in your area of responsibility and you should ignore it. So there is a debate of the placement of the, of the bullseye. So placement, it's all up to you depending on what your skill level is and it's all up to the person making the mission. So for me personally, I like to have, especially in this, there's, there's four flights over a course of 100 miles. So if, if let's say the bullseye was right in the middle, everybody likes it in the middle. So let's put it smack dab in the middle of the area of responsibility. Oh, oops. Put it right there in the middle in the area of responsibility. So to set the bullseye, you would right click where you want to put it. Go to set bullseye, go to confirm. It moves the, the, the rows, the, all, the lines to the, where you right click the bullseye at. Then right here, you would make sure you do a click dance and you save it so it'll be inputted into your jet. So let's, here we are with the bullseye right there in the middle. So let's say you're, there's three groups and you're in this lane right here. So the first group is 27030. So you're going in your head, you're like, all right, 27030, it's over there, cool. And the second group is 290. 15. So it's like, all right, that's 29015. Easy. Cool, cool. Not too bad. And then the third group is 09055. So you have to go all the way over here and you have to kind of do it in your head, kind of to see where it is. 55. So you just kind of get right here. 090, somewhere over here. Cool. Another one is is uh 01015 so it's like all right and, and you're going all over the place you're going from over here to over here and you have you have just about four uh, well if it's in the south you have four quadrants to worry about going all the way around but at least here you know that anything 
in between 090 and 270 is north, and that's probably hostile. That's a good assumption. Anything between 0, 090 and going south is probably friendly. So that you can kind of split it up into two, quad, or two halves there for friendly and hostile. But you, you do have to uh, basically compartmentalize your bullseye because now there's four quadrants to worry about. So you get a, a, a 30030 here, you get a 07040 here, and it's like, what is your position, uh, Falcon 5? And it's like, oh, my position is 11440, one, and it's like all over the place. So that's really, really confusing. And it, it might seem easy, but when you get in, in the 3D, it, it could get very confusing worrying about all four quadrants. So this, this is why I like to put it to one side. So you can put it over here, or you can put it over here. So I'm just going to put it back over here where it was, that bullseye, confirm. So now we only have two quadrants. And depending where you put the bullseye, let me put it, put it here. So if you put the bullseye here, you put back the, the ruler there, now technically you only have to worry about one quadrant. So you have this 090 to 360, that's all you have to worry about for the most part, because there's, there's no one over here. It'll be 400 miles away from you. There's no one down here for, for the most part, because that's friendly area. So there's no one over here because that's friendly area as well. So technically you just have one quadrant to worry about. You just have the heading of 0. 360 to, to uh, 090, that's all you have to worry about. And like I said before, go all the way to the end, see how far it is, 121, that's cool, 76, 121, that's, that's the, the bullseye, 076, 121, that's the bullseye, all the way in the end. Go about half, about 60, and you could just kind of section off the bullseye there. So this is how you can use it tactically and kind of get a little shortcut to understand where things are in your head without having to move your cursor to, to scramble and find out where it is. So after you, you get your mental picture, you, remember you have to have the mental picture to, to be able to, to do this. So you do your mental picture, you get the maximum, you get the minimum, or you get the maximum, you, get the, you can get the three quarters, and then you can get the half, depending on where you are on this sweep. So I'm going to change. Let's, uh, let's do this. So here, we're in this bar cap in, in F18s. So we're not going to really have to worry about it all the way over here. So we can, if you want, you can go to it's 0, 075, 121. That's the full length of the bullseye. And then you go half. It's about 60. So 0, 0, 080, 60. That is about half of it. And your area of responsibility is about 50 or about 40 or 30 to 40 miles away from bullseye. So if you hear anything within 30 miles, for the most part, that that's that would be your responsibility or your your uh target to uh pay attention to. So on this heading, something that that would be really close would be zero eight zero forty two. That would be something that's pretty close to you, and you should you should start worrying about it. If you have something zero three zero fifty, you'd kind of you have to shift it up a little bit and kind of put it in a, a general area of where where it is on the on the bullseye there. So when you're in the jet. And there's calls being thrown out. You have to, after each each group called, you have to deem it either a threat or not a threat. So if it's a threat, you would start looking for it. If it's not a threat, you wouldn't really worry about it. And you're not going to remember all of the numbers. So the easiest the easiest thing to do is to, uh, of course, have the mental picture. So you have this in your brain right now. Let's say someone says, first, first group on the bullseye, directly in the bullseye. So he's zero, zero. It'll be on the bullseye. So you know where that is. It's over here. It's kind of a threat. So you, you're, you don't remember the numbers. You remember where it is on, in your mental picture. So right on the bullseye. Cool. Check mark. The second group is zero, three, zero, 40. So 03040. So you just kind of remember it's north, northeast, 40 miles. So you just kind of remember that where that is. For 40, 40, 40 miles north, northeast, kind of put, put it on this, in this mental picture here. So you got one on the bullseye and one here. Another one that's 
05055. Put the other one 05055, and you just kind of men mentally mentally picture where they are without having to remember the numbers. It, it's hard to explain in voice, but just try to understand and try to do that when you get your mental picture uh, down and you're actually able to use it in uh, the 3D. If you can, by all means, if you have to write down the bullseye calls, go ahead. Go for it. That is probably the, 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 the easiest thing to do, and it's probably the most, most effective thing to do. So you just write down the bullseyes. You have three bullseyes. You write them down, and then you can look at them later because you're not going to remember them if you don't write them down. So writing them down will help you a lot. So make sure you have a pencil and paper handy. So here we are in the manual, in the, the BMS, Falcon BMS user manual on page 62, 5-62. So this is a very important aspect. So you need to make sure, make sure, you are 100% sure that in your DTC you have display bullseye. There's been reports and people having this unchecked and the bullseye doesn't exist in their jet. So you don't get any, any uh, indications on your MFDs of where the bullseye is. So you're just blind. So make sure you have the display bullseye checked or highlighted in your DTC, or it will be a bad day for you. So here in BMS to show you the symbology on your MFDs and HUD of that regards in regards to the bullseye. So first, this is your cursor to lock on things. So you notice that this number here is moving. So this is your, this is the current bullseye of where this cursor is. Right now, this cursor is one one three forty nine. That's where this cursor is. So another part of the symbology here is your own ship, which is right here. The 28 is the distance from bullseye, and this arrow here is the direction to bullseye from, from your aircraft. So I am 28 miles from the bullseye in that direction, so that's about my 5 o'clock, at a heading of 103. So 103 is my heading from bullseye. I am 28 miles away from that bullseye. So my current bullseye would be would be called as 10328 that would be my bullseye this here like i said is the current bullseye of your cursor so if i wanted to increase the heading i would want to move the cursor perpendicular to the direction of bullseye so if i move it this way it'll increase if i move it that way it'll decrease now i move it this way it goes to 100 move it the other direction it goes to 130 so that's a good good uh, indication of which way to go when you're trying to remember bullseye. Because it's a waste, wasteful time when you're trying to do this and you're just kind of like trying to figure out which way is which. You're like, all right, it's increasing and you go that way. So you just already know that left is, is uh, it goes, it decreases in heading and, and right goes, increases in heading. So bullseye is this way to my five o'clock. So I'm going to go... Let's say AWAX calls 14050 miles. So 140, so I have to increase. So I'm going to go to the right here. I have to keep going. So I'm going to bump it up. So there's 140 and then 50. So it's about here. So don't worry about going exactly to where the bullseye is because once you get to the bullseye, close to the bullseye, you can start spotlighting, which brings your cursor to 30 degrees. Spotlight is TMS up long. So the. Uh, as you're holding it, it'll keep it at 30 degrees, so you can kind of look around and search for different bandits and targets in this area, rel relatively close to the bullseye. Let's say the next group of t group of uh, the group next group is 09096. I'm gonna go down. So I need to go to 090. I'm gonna go to the left here. Try to find 090. Oh, it bumped. So there's 090 ish. So I can go about here, 090 there, and 96. So it's actually all the way up here. I can go up here, 09096, and about here. So 09096. So it's about right there. You can start spotlighting. Try to see if you can find them. And that'll be that group right there. The next is 168, 140. So 168, so I need to go this way to increase it. And 140 is way over here. So there's 168, 140, so about right here. And you start spotlighting and look for the targets there. Moving on to the right MFD. So over here, see this is moving? 
it's not it's not SOI, it's not sensor of interest, so it's this is still my cursor on my left MFD. If I DMS down to bring the box over here, this is now my sensor of interest. This doesn't move anymore, but my cursor moves. So now the cursor bullseye is now on the right side. So you can do the exact same thing on the left you can with the right. What I usually do is press this OSB, go to center, and it puts more more room behind you so you can see. So if something's behind you, you could use your 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 bullseye or your cursor to kind of bring it back over here. So let's say that the AWACS calls zero or correction calls three six zero thirty five. So three six zero how you can know which way is north on this page. So this little carrot, little flag here is north. So notice how the other ones don't have a little flag. So this always points north. So you can look here and automatically know where north is. So you happen to be able to see bullseye from here, which is this bullseye, blue bullseye right here. So you know north is that way, bullseye's there. And the call was 36025. So you know it's north of bullseye. So you could zoom out, you could bump it up here. You know it's north of bullseye 25 miles so you can go there and it's about north of bullseye 25 miles so it's about here so that's not too much of a threat but it's about there's 40 miles there's 40 miles right here there's 20 miles right here so it's about 37 miles away from you so that's kind of a threat you should probably turn around and, and take a look at that uh, if you're not inside this SA2 this is from another mission so you, you'll see all this stuff here so the the zero 36025 is, is in this area a little farther out. So this is where they would be right here. So this is kind of a threat. The the next group, let's say, is set over the radio 27035. So with that being north, 270 is, is west. So you know it's going to be this one right here. So it's west, 35 miles. So that's not even really a threat. You can't even, can't even get over there. So you got to zoom all the way out see where that is 07035 so you, you wouldn't even look for this this group here you would just kind of stay stay where you are and probably start worrying about this this group behind you at uh 36025 so it'd be some over here so that's not that last group is not a threat let's say there's a 09045 so 090 you know that's that's east so that's toward in your direction that's almost your your uh, bullseye area so 09045 that's really close to you so you know you have to go east so you can go east this way on the 090 reticle or heading there and 45 so it's about it's about here in this area so that's really close to you so this would you would immediately snap in that direction by this point you would have RWR stuff but as an example you would this, this would be the 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 target of interest for you do one more. Let's do uh, 03535. So 035, you know that's more on the north side, so you can kind of put your cursor over here. 03535, and that's about here. So that's not too much of a threat, but it is down your little area of responsibility when it comes to your lanes. And that mental picture, I always say, you could, you always have to have that mental mental picture. So when you hear the 035, you know that's nor northerly, and then 35, 35 miles from the bullseye, you can kind of picture where that is in relative to you as long as you know where you are in, in on on the uh area of responsibility or on, on your map on your flight plan so let's move on to the hud so there's a uh, these numbers down here this is your current bullseye you see how it matches 10328 let's go over here 10328 so this is your bullseye so if someone calls where you're where you are you could call your bullseye and it's right here you don't have to look down or anything you just have to look right here on the bottom left of your HUD. And it's only in certain master modes. We'll go to air to ground mode here. Just strafe. Let me get out of strafe. Let's so here CCRP. There's no there's no uh bullseye here, so let's be cognizant of that. Go back to nav mode, there's bullseye there. I'm gonna go to dogfight mode, you have your bullseye there. Go to to uh missile master mode, bullseye there. And so most of them, you have your bullseye, except for air to ground. There's no, there's no bullseye there, it seems. 